What you will see in this video are some of the benefits to our flip over gooseneck hitch, along with the installation instructions from pop-up towing products. Have you ever had your gooseneck hitch seize up on you? Some of the benefits to our flip over gooseneck hitch is that the ball can spin freely in its socket, even when the ball is locked into place. This means that it's less likely to get stuck. If the ball ever does get sticky, you can simply put a pipe wrench at the base of the ball and break it free. Another benefit to the ball spinning in its socket is that you get more life out of your ball and coupler because it's a pivot point. The coupler is no longer grinding against the ball. Let's take a moment to look over the hardware in the instruction sheet. Make sure you have a center section, frame plates, crossbars, and all hardware needed to do a complete install before starting the installation. Every hitch is make and model specific, so some hardware will vary from model to model. First thing you need to do is remove the spare tire and get it out of the way. It will make the install process much easier. If your truck is equipped with the heat shield, now is the time to remove it. Now that the spare tire and heat shield have been removed, it's time to locate the hole position for the gooseneck ball. Measure from the rear lip of the truck bed to the measurement listed in the instructions for your make and model. If your truck is equipped with a spray-in bed liner, make sure you can add the thickness of the liner to your measurement. Make sure and follow the instructions when locating and drilling the hole for the gooseneck ball. We suggest you use the correct hole saw to drill a hole in a 2x6 or 2x8 to act as a guide to keep the hole saw straight and eliminate the possibility of tearing up the bed while drilling the hole. Next, it's time to notch the bed seal for inserting the crossbars. Later this same notch will house the locking rod. Once the bed seal is notched out, insert the rear crossbar first and slide back into position. Once that is in place, insert the front crossbar and slide it forward into position. Refer to instructions when making sure the crossbars are turned to the correct direction for install. You can see in this slide that the crossbars are in place and now are ready to install the center section of the hitch. Each truck is a little different but you should slide the center section over the exhaust and fit into position between the crossbars. To help hold the center section in place while bolting to crossbars, drop the hook of a ratchet strap down through the tube and secure it to the center section. And hook the other end to a sawhorse in the bed of the truck or lay a 2x4 across the bed rails. Then tighten the strap until the center section is drawn up flush to the bed floor. Once the center section is drawn up into place, Using the strap, it's time to pull the crossbars up against the center section and bolt into place. Make sure you do not completely tighten bolts at this time. Identify the driver's side frame plate, which should have the serial number and operating sticker showing. Attach the frame plates to the crossbars, but do not fully tighten. Repeat this step for the passenger side as well. Now that the frame plates are attached to the crossbars, it's time to secure the frame plates to the frame. This varies from truck to truck, so please refer to instructions for proper bolt placement. Now make sure you square the hitch assembly front to back and side to side before tightening all bolts. Bolts need to be tightened in sequence according to the instructions. It's very important to use a torque wrench and tighten to specs when installing your gooseneck hitch. Shown here is how your hitch should look so far. Now drill your holes for the safety chain U-bolts. From the top side, install the safety chain U-bolts in the holes you drilled from under the truck. From under the truck, install one spring and half inch nut on each leg of the U-bolt. Tighten until the threads extend through the nut. From the driver's side of the truck, slide the rod into the opening where you notch the bed seal. Now you will need to align the handle so that the set screw seats into the dimple in the rod and tighten to 15 foot-pounds of torque. It's not a bad idea to go ahead and put a dab of Loctite on the set screw. To unlock, simply turn the rod 90 degrees counterclockwise, and to lock back into place, turn the handle back to its original position. Simply flip the ball to the up position to tow your gooseneck trailer, and flip it back over when you want your flat flush bed. Don't forget to put your spare tire back in and have a safe trip while towing your trailer. We make a flip over hitch for nearly every application including semi tractors, so we're sure to have what you need. Also take a look at the several convenient accessories that work in conjunction with your new flip over hitch for all your towing needs. Thanks for taking the time to watch this installation video of the flip over hitch by Pop-Up Towing Products. 
For more questions on hitch installation or other pop-up products, give us a call at 1-800-837-8578 or see us online at www.popuphitch.com.